Design is a process of discovery. I let design happen in a very organic, evolutionary manner. Both my son David and I, we don't draw and then build, but rather we design on the bench itself. I'm Tom Moser, and I founded Thomas Moser Cabinet Makers uh, in New Gloucester, Maine in 1972. We build handcrafted furniture of our own designs. What we build is going to provide value for many generations. Living with Moser pieces is a sense of pride. You know, when family comes over, when friends come over, you know, that's the first thing they see. And they really pick it out because the quality and the craftsmanship. We have guests come over from time to time and they look at the table and think, wow, that's spectacular. And then they sit in it and they say, this is so comfortable. These are not pieces that I'm afraid to have my children on. This is functional furniture that we want to use. Thomas Moser Furniture fits how we live. I don't want Moser Furniture to sit up on some type of a shelf. But these pieces are meant to serve human needs and to be lived with and to be a time capsule of the families that it served. The single greatest influence in our early work was that of the Shakers. Much of our furniture was based upon their designs, but more than that, upon their aesthetic, upon their philosophy. Form follows function. Highly utilitarian, highly functional, no ornament, and a reverence for the material they use. That, coupled with a reverence to workmanship, the hand craftsmanship is paramount. Our reliance on, on handwork is still a, another hallmark of, of Moser Furniture because to achieve the finished end, the feel, really can only be done by the malleability of, of the human hand. Our early work, of course, was all for residential use, but as the years passed, we increasingly moved toward other uh, institutional uh, projects, such as libraries, healthcare, and even some hospitality work. Much of it was a collaboration with, with an architect and ourselves, so that the final design came from their need, but from our imagination. I knew about Thomas Moser probably about 10 years before coming here. I knew that if I wanted to work with wood, then this was the place to come. This was the all-star team of woodworking. This was you know, the creme de la creme of building furniture that's gonna be there for a lifetime. It gives you a good feeling inside knowing that a piece of furniture is going to somebody and it's the highest quality that you could possibly put out. That's what this company was founded on. You know, That's what Tom and Mary started the company from. We have a lot of repeat customers. They expect that out of us and we're known for it worldwide. If you know where something comes from, if you know how it was made, if you know who made it, it expands considerably its meaning. And the furniture we produce, I would like to think, has that expansion to it. People know that it was made by hands here in Maine. That's its provenance. Maine is a kind of a magnet. It's a center for fine woodworking. It's seen as honest, hardworking, committed to integrity. A significant number of the folks in the shop have been with us for over 20 years. That gives a testimony to the fact that they find a high level of meaning here. Each person that works here wants to create something. They want to be able to put their signature on what they build, you know, and stand back at the end of the day and be proud of it. The signature is the final stage of ownership as a craftsman finishes a piece. That's something the craftsmen enjoy doing and take a lot of pride in doing. When I finish a piece, you know, there's a little me that goes with it. When a customer gets it, they're going to look at that, they'll see my signature on the piece. I know the people who built this. I know the people who built my bed. I know the people who built my table. And when I look at the corners and I look at the joinery, I can tell they put a lot of time and effort into making it right. One of our values is truth and purity. If we use an exposed joint, it's because the joint was necessary to achieve that form. That truth in quality, that attention to detail, finds its way in every aspect of our business. So we try using the furniture as our guide to achieve that level of quality along all sections of the business. We're pretty sure that what we do has a good bit of integrity in it. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to offer a lifetime guarantee, which simply states that if something goes wrong, as long as you live, we'll fix it at our expense. That long, long life 
Therein lies the real value of Thomas Moser Furniture. We are more than the furniture. We are more than just design. We're a community of people building furniture for people. We have, I think, created a legacy over 40 years. It's going to be a legacy based upon the efforts of many, many people, and it'll be sustained by the goodwill of the people who buy and use our furniture. As long as they find meaning in it, and as long as they find comfort and security and pleasure and pride of ownership, as long as that exists, we're going to have that legacy for the next generation or two.